Okay, in this video we're going to look at the solution to the Putnam problem, year 2018 A1. And so the problem reads, re reads as follows. So find all A, B, both natural numbers, such that 1 over A plus 1 over B is 3 over 2018. So classic to uh, use the year of the test in the problem. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the following. We're going to clear denominators. And that's going to give us the following equation. So that means we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2018 times A times B. So that's going to give us 2018A plus 2018B equals 3 times AB. Okay, great. And now uh, the next thing I want to do is maybe move everything over and then turn this into something that you can kind of factor. So it'll be like completing the square, but really we're just completing a product of a binomial. So in other words, let's rewrite this as 3AB minus 2018A minus 2018B um, equals zero. Okay. So now, uh, from here, it looks like I could factor this into a binomial that starts with an A and a uh, binomial that starts with a B that would multiply together to get 3AB, but it's a bit of a problem because we'd like to have a bit more symmetry in the problem than um, that would allow. So we can get that by replacing 3 with 9 by uh, multiplying this whole thing by 3. So let's multiply this whole thing by 3. And that's going to give us 9AB minus 3 times 2018A minus 3 times 2018B um, equals 0. Okay, now we can go about not completing the square, but completing this into a factorable binomial on the left-hand side of the equation. And we can do that by <clears throat> noticing that here we have 3 times A times, two, times 2018. Here we have 3 times B times 2018. So if we um, add 2018 squared to both sides of the equation, then we're good to go. And now this left-hand side of the equation will factor as follows. We'll have 3A minus 2018 times 3B minus 2018 equals 2018 squared, but I'm going to go ahead and factor that into primes because that'll be useful later. So that is 2 squared times 1,009 squared. So now what we'll do is look at this whole thing mod uh, 3. So if we reduce this mod 3, we get the following. So uh, notice that this bit is 1 mod 3. So this is uh, 1 mod 3. This is also 1 mod 3. And then that over there is also clearly... 1 mod 3. So that means a good strategy here is to look for factor pairs of this right hand side of the equation where each part of the factor pair is 1 mod 3. So in other words our next step is to look at factor pairs of uh, 2 squared times 1009 squared um, where both are congruent to 1 mod 3. Um, okay, good. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, so let's make a little chart of the factor pairs um, for the number we're interested in and then um, answer the question which, fa which of those factor pairs have the property that both are congruent to 1 mod 3. So uh, our first factor pair is going to be 1 times uh, 2 squared times 1009 squared. So there we have this is one part of the pair, this is the other part of the pair, and in this case yes they are both congruent to 1 mod 3. Now the next one will be 2 times 2 times 1009 squared, but in that case, no, they are not both congruent to 1 mod 3. We have to throw that one away. 
Okay, and then the next one will be uh, 2 squared times 1009 squared. And the answer to this is, again, yes, they are both congruent to 1 mod 3. Okay, and then we've got one more. So we've got uh, 2 squared times 1009 and then 1009. And again, yes, these are both congruent to 1 mod 3. And so let's just recall that we're looking at uh, the equation 3a minus 2018, 3b minus 2018 equals uh, two th 2018 squared, which is uh, 2 squared times uh, 1,009 squared. And so what we'll do is we'll assign each part of these factor pairs to uh, each one of these binomials and we'll solve for A or B. So let's enumerate these. So since this one is good, let's call it 1. Since this one is good, let's call it 2. And since this one is good, let's call it 3. And so now let's see what we get from uh, 1. So what we'll have is 3a minus 2018 equals 1, and 3b minus 2018 equals uh, 2 squared times 1009 squared. Good. So um, I'll just jump to the solution. This means A is 673, and B is equal to uh, 1, 3... Five, uh, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, four. Okay. Now let's go with the second one. So we have three uh, a minus two thousand and eighteen equals uh, two squared, and then three a three b minus two thousand and eighteen equals uh, one thousand and nine squared. Okay, so let's see what we get there. Here we get A equals 674, and we get B equals um, 340,033. Okay, and then we've got one more equation. So 3, so we have 3A minus 2018 equals uh, 2 squared times 1009 and 3b minus 2018 equals 1009. And so let's see what solution does that give us? That gives us a equals um, 2018 and b is going to be 1009. So those are all ordered pairs A and B that will satisfy this if we include, so plus, all swaps A with B. And that's actually all, nat all natural numbers that satisfy this equation. And so now you might say, well, what happens if we look at uh, the factor pairs where both factor pairs are negative and congruent to 1 mod 3? So I'll let you guys look at those factor pairs using this same strategy. But the problem is, is all of those factor pairs will um, cause A or B um, to be negative. So uh, that's the end of the video.